Good evening. Tonight at the top of six, new information in the case of five Palm Beach Central High School employees accused of failing to report suspected child abuse. Following last month's arrest, we wanted to know just what training mandatory reporters go through. We did request that information from the school district because it's important for you to know the training that is put in place. WPTV's education reporter Stephanie Suskind experienced that training firsthand. Through a public records request, we asked Palm Beach County Schools for the training that school employees go through as mandatory reporters of child abuse and neglect. I received this link to the training from the Department of Children and Families. After creating an account, I was able to go through the same hour-long course that educators do. The training is a series of slides that include text and pictures. You can also choose to listen along to what's on the screen. The online course is divided into two sections, identifying child abuse and neglect and reporting child abuse and neglect. It explains a report to the Florida Abuse Hotline is required when someone knows or has reasonable cause to suspect a child is abused, abandoned, or neglected. It goes on to define abuse as being a victim of physical, emotional, or sexual abuse. The course is focused on how to handle suspected abuse or neglect at the hands of an adult. It does not go into detail when the allegations involve two minors, which was the case at Palm Beach Central. The training does stress the importance of reporting to the abuse hotline, even if you are not sure if you have enough information to warrant the report. Your obligation is to make a report if you have a reasonable cause to suspect that abuse or neglect has occurred. It is not your responsibility to investigate or prove the case. According to the police report in the Palm Beach Central case, Principal Darren Edgecombe is alleged to have said he did not report the allegations to DCF because he, quote, felt a sexual assault did not occur based on his own investigation. The case goes back to 2021. A student wrote a letter to a teacher explaining her 15-year-old friend was sexually assaulted by another student off campus. The investigative report details how that information made its way in different forms and conversations to five school employees, including the principal, two assistant principals, a teacher, and a school counselor, but none of them reported it to the hotline. Now they are all facing felony charges. All five employees in the Palm Beach Central case have court hearings on Thursday. One of them has filed a motion to dismiss. Now, for now, they've all been removed from their positions and they are working in other areas away from students. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5. Now, the school district does tell us all newly hired employees are required to submit a certificate of completion of, upon being hired now, and current employees will be required to take a mandatory refresher course every two years.